happy Monday, everyone. The next production of Arizona Theatre Company is extra special for many reasons, including it's a world premiere, it's the final show for this season, and the final production for a man who has been with the company for 25 years. James Michael Riley and Noah Racy are here to tell us more about Holmes and Watson. Did I say Indeed. it correctly? Perfectly. <laughs> you certainly did, yes. yes. There are so many reasons why this is such a special, uh, I guess, event. I did say it's the world premiere. Does that kind of add a little extra stress to the production? Um, stress and enjoyment. It's enjoyment. Kind of one of the same. It's yeah. such a yeah. joy to be a part of a new production as a professional actor. They're kind of like the brass ring that we, you really, really are excited to do yeah. because it means you're creating a story completely from scratch and you're creating what that story needs to be, not just trying to find out what an existing story needs. Yeah. Yeah. It ends up being a lot of, it's a lot of work, but it's so worth it. It's so exciting to discover and feel like the kind of, the, um, it's carte blanche, you know, yeah. what does the story need? Are we telling it effectively? I mean, even yeah. though it's a new story, the characters are very iconic. Uh, Absolutely. You know, characters that we know, we were talking about Holmes and Watson. Who do you both play? Okay, I play um, what is, who's called in the show, Patient One. So the basic idea, um, this, the, the story created by our playwright Jeffrey Hatcher draws on um, some of the classic stories from what they say, the Holmes canon, you know, the, the stories that Arthur Conan Doyle actually wrote. But what's happening in this case is this takes place three years after Sherlock Holmes is supposed to have died in a fight with his arch enemy Moriarty at Reichenbach Falls. So it's three years after the death of Holmes and Dr. Watson, his uh, associate and friend, has been called to an asylum where there are three inmates claiming to be Sherlock Holmes. Interesting, and I know you're kind of giving me a little bit of the backstory where we're at time-wise yes. in, in the grander scheme of things, yep. but we don't really want to say too much because no. there's going to be a lot of kind of revelations. That, there's, that there certainly are. We don't want to spoil, right? Yes, exactly. so I really don't want to go much further in terms of who I am to say I am one of the patients who claims to be Sherlock Holmes. Okay. But as to whether that's true or whether it's true in other people's cases is for the audience to discover. Well, and I and think to out. I love that. I love this. Yeah. Ah, come to the show, see what we're Absolutely. what we're talking what we're talking about. I also did mention that this is special because it is going to be one of the final productions for someone that's yeah. been with the theater company for such a long time. Yeah. Kind of tell me about that. David Ira Goldstein is the uh, he is the artistic director and has been for 25 years and has done an amazing job at establishing uh, Arizona Theater Company as a leading force in in not only great productions but new work it's funny we're yeah. talking about new work he's been such a proponent of new work and um, he wanted to make sure that this last slot this last slot in the last season for him was going to be with a playwright that he has worked with before and he yeah, he and Jeffrey have done I think two other original productions I believe here. so another Holmes play and then a uh, Jekyll and Hyde Jekyll and Hyde yeah. yeah so they have yeah. a they have a really good working relationship and um, yeah, yeah, this is, this is the swan song for David, and it's, it's been amazing to work with them in this theater company because they're all, they have such a beautiful shorthand. There's, yeah. They all work like a, such a well-oiled machine, and so with all, everything that's changing in a new script and you're getting handed pages and everything yeah. is just, yeah. everything's shifting, they're so grounded and, and at ease with each other and how the ground shifts that it made the whole experience really, really, really Yeah, fun. it really did. It really did. And on our, right before um, our opening night performance, um, this is my first time working here. Is it yours? It is, well? yes. Okay. But there are a couple of folks that have, that have worked with them yeah. or in years past. And, you know, David got a little choked up saying how, how happy he was to see these, these familiar faces and people he loves and knows and trusts being there for his, his final performance in the theater. So it's, yeah. I it's think so between you know the last performance, the end of the season, world premiere, iconic characters, something new, uh, yeah. something with a lot of secrets and revelations that are going to happen yeah. in the show. This is the show to come and see. It so is such fun. I'm yes. going to remind everyone how they can get their hands on some tickets because I have a feeling that these are probably going to go fast, gentlemen. Thank you so much for stopping you by. Bet. A pleasure to be here. Oh, thank this you. was wonderful. Holmes and Watson is continuing now through May 6 at the Temple of Music and Art. For tickets and more information, please give them a call at six two two. 22823 or visit arizonatheater.org.